to meet night. All I'm asking for, Mr. Prime Minister, is time. My guy in Pakistan will be in power in less than 24 hours. And in the meantime, you want us to do what? Nothing? If you strike now, I'll be you'll go down as a belligerent, not some odd. Uh, you know we always show up to war one day early. In 67, we took out the Egyptian Air Force before it left the ground. That's why it's called the Six-Day War and not the Seven-Day War. So optimistic. Let's say you take out 90% of Zaman's nuclear sites. I never identified the target. 10% of enriched uranium you miss finds its way to the black market. Cheap enough for Al-Qaeda or Islamic State or any of the other dozen new groups that will spring up the day after you launch a large-scale strike against a Muslim country. Your grandkids will inherit in Israel the dirty bombs have rendered a fallout zone. People, whoever loses, I'll eat that tushy, okay? Likonen. If Shmuley with the white suit wins, I'll take your plans to my generals. If Aaron with the blue suit wins, I go with Pierce. Huh? Wait! Likonen! Asher! Come on, Shmuley! Swim, Shmuley! Swim! Swim, Shmuley! Swim! 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 Swim, Shmuley! Come on, you little son of a bitch! Swim! Swim! God damn it! <laughs> Walter, cheer up. I'm just fucking with you. Aaron always wins. But I'll talk to my general. If all you need is less than 24 hours, maybe we can hold off on whatever it is we refuse to admit that we are planning. Thanks, Avi. <laughs> You're a crazy bastard. I know. Guy's out of his fucking mind. <laughs>